I think being a commercial pilot, that's probably my career choice. I've been in the aviation program for two years now. So far, I've just learned a lot about the basics of aviation. I guess what it takes to be a pilot, what skills you have to have to be a pilot. When we made the decision to transform our high school from a traditional comprehensive high school to a wall-to-wall -wall academy design, uh, we focused our efforts on the H3 jobs, the high skill, high wage, high demand occupations. And one that always kept coming up uh, as we talked to our community members and our business partners was aviation. And it really intrigued us about the opportunity to offer that um, as an opportunity for our students. Um, our regional airport has been growing tremendously. Uh, we built a, a brand new facility that sets records every year in terms of, of people flying out of here. And there's just a great opportunity to um, provide that experience to our students. So uh, we added the pathways of aviation flight and aviation technician um, to offer both avenues, those that were interested in becoming pilots and those that wanted to be the technicians to, to maintain the planes. I started flying 20 years ago right here in central Nebraska. I earned my private pilot certificate in Central City and then went to flight school in Macon, Georgia at Southwest Flight School and I earned my instrument rating, my commercial rating, my certified flight instructor certificate, my instrument flight instructor certificate, my multi-engine flight instructor certificate and worked for the school for a period of time. And I taught for a while in Colorado Springs at the Air Force Academy and after a, about a year there, I moved on and flew for a regional airline for three years. I now get to lead the program here in Grand Island. The thing I was looking forward to most was definitely the actual going into the plane, actually being hands-on and actually being able to have the flight lessons. Ours is unique because it's all ours. Uh, we're not connected to a uh, flight school or, or a college. Um, we're doing this all independently through our, our business partners. Um, we've been fortunate enough to, to hire two staff members um, that meet all the criteria that we need to, to offer these. It's just given us the, the opportunity to uh, reach out to our business partners, get them involved in the, the selection of the curriculum, um, working through the AOPA curriculum and offering these experiences to our students and being able to, to do the flight um, within our school day, within our school structure, has been very powerful. I do hope that uh, we do begin to give flying lessons to students, and I hope uh, to graduate a student with a private pilot certificate in the future. Following that, I would love to give instrument flight training to students who have earned their private pilot certificate and even work toward a commercial pilot certificate. And what would be unique is that we would be here in central Nebraska there are programs in Colorado and Michigan and Florida and New York that I know of that have aviation programs and work toward helping their students earn pilot certificates. But ours would be the only one that I know of uh, here in Nebraska that would have the flight portion attached to it. Being able to earn my private pilot's license now in high school would help a lot when I do pursue the actual career because then I would just have that out of the way and I could just go straight to going into my commercial. Our students are poised for an amazing opportunity. While our economy will rebound eventually, aviation jobs will be abundant. Piloting, piloting jobs will be large and there will be lots of opportunities for our students if they continue and persist in this, uh, in this endeavor. There will be a ways to go, obviously. Um, earning a private pilot certificate does not allow you to have a job. You need more training than that. But we have graduates already who are pursuing aviation either here in the local area, at the local airport, or at colleges. Um, so our program is putting students on a path to becoming professional pilots. I would definitely say a big inspiration just in everything that I do in my life would definitely be my parents because my dad came here as an immigrant from Mexico at such a young age and now he has like a really successful business and it's just so like, inspiring to me because he built something out of nothing and I guess that's what's really inspired me to want to do something that's so great in life. I want to do something that not that's not heard of a lot. 
and it's just I think this would be the best career for me. Our focus area and really the the backbone foundation of the academy design is about equity and access. Um, we want to make sure that all students have the ability to get in and get experiences in, in career opportunities that they may have never been able to. In our district, we have about 70% of our students uh, that qualify for free or reduced lunch. We also are a minority majority school district, so 56% of our district um, is minority. Um, a lot of these students aviation wasn't in their vocabulary and we've now given them the opportunity we've piqued their interest through exposure um, piqued their interest through hearing from professionals tell their story about how they got into aviation and these kids now are hooked and excited and working on their their now plan uh, to pursue a, a pilot's license and, and get into commercial aviation or get into the A&P side and, and get into those high skill high wage jobs. I guess it just sounds so cool to be able to meet so many new people through the industry and be able to go to so many new places that I've never even heard of sometimes. Like it's just amazing the opportunities that you can have with being a pilot, especially a commercial pilot.